Step 1. Frame Assembly To assemble the frame, you will need the assembly instructions, safety gloves, frame pieces, and hardware. The edges of the channels can be very sharp. Please wear your gloves to prevent injury. Start by laying out each channel of the trailer using the manual's diagram and the item number labeled on each channel. Take note that we will be building the frame upside down for the first half of the assembly. The front channel is the one with the two vertical slots. Place it at the front. Line up the driver side channels with square holes facing up. The side channel with the marker light holes is the front end of the channel. The rear channel is the one with two angled cuts. Place it at the back with the side with the two holes facing up. Line up the passenger side channels the same way as the driver side. Place the short connection channels on the outside of the side channels. Take the four cross channels and place them in the center of the frame with the opening facing the rear of the trailer. Place the hardware that is needed at each junction. If you're not sure which hardware to use, consult the Quick Reference Hardware Sheet. Take note that during the frame assembly, you will only hand tighten the hardware. Tightening them at this time would make the assembly more challenging. We will secure the hardware in a later step. You will be using the short flange bolts on the top of the channels and longer hex bolts on the bottom. The long hex bolts will accommodate a 3 quarter inch plywood sheet. Slide the corner of the side channel below the front channel and secure with the flange bolt on the top and hex bolt on the bottom. Note that the side channel will not fit inside the front channel. They must be overlapping to fit. Join the first cross channel to the side of the frame at the top and bottom on the third 3 8 pole. With the front and back side channels touching, Slide the connection channel over top. Place the second cross channel to the first hole of the connection channel and fasten all three channels at the bottom only. You will secure the top later during the axle installation. Join the middle portion of the connection channel on the top and bottom. Add the third cross channel to the last hole of the connection channel and connect all three channels at the bottom only. Connect the fourth cross channel the same way that you connected the second cross channel. You can now secure the passenger side by repeating what you did on the driver's side. With the passenger side completed, you can now slide the rear channel over both side channels and connect top and bottom. 